Hello students, this is Mr. David once again, giving you the news during the coronavirus school shutdown. Thank you to RCHK for your English news. This is dated the 26th of March, Thursday, which is today. Now, the article itself is dated 25th, yesterday 6pm, and the headline is Mask Shortage. Shortage means not enough. Mask shortage in the West, that means America, um, Italy... Britain uh, there is not enough masks and that means that there are long queues in Hong Kong here's a picture of people going to a FedEx shop and they're trying to send some face masks to their friends in Canada and other countries in the West the caption this is a caption residents residents means the people who live okay residents of Hong Kong people who live in Hong Kong are sending masks face masks to family and friends elsewhere as they face a shortage not enough as a shortage of face masks grips the West, that means the West is affected. The word grip is when you hold something, grip. So the shortage of masks is gripping the West. Long queues are forming here in Hong Kong, outside post offices and courier services. Courier is someone who sends something. Courier services to send the much needed protective gear to places like the US and the UK. So instead of sending parcels and documents, a parcel is like a package or a box and documents, many of those lining up outside branches of DHL and FedEx nowadays are often seen clutching. This word clutching means holding, clutch. Same as grip. Okay, grip is very tight, clutching is holding. Boxes of precious face masks. The word precious, a very good word, means they're very valuable. In a remarkable, remarkable means amazing, okay? A remarkable turnaround because it's completely changed. Just a few weeks back, do you remember in Hong Kong, there were no face masks and people were asking for masks from other countries. Now, people are sending masks from Hong Kong to Canada and USA. The flow of face masks and sanitizers has reversed. It has changed direction, reverse. Hong Kong experienced a shortage of surgical masks in January and February. Do you remember? It was very difficult to get masks. And the city witnessed, that means they saw, long queues, hour-long queues outside the few shops which had them. And many people overseas then offered help and sent over supplies needed here. But, however, but when the dreaded, the dreaded means very scary, okay, scary, dreaded virus, which spread out of the mainland's Hubei province, this is the area of Hubei, province is an area, eventually reached the shores, this means the land, the shores of Europe and the Americas. These places also started facing the same problem with protective gear, like masks, gloves, goggles, etc. Don't you think it's absurd? Absurd is a wonderful word, it means crazy. Don't you think it's absurd? Asked a woman who was at a DHL office in Central to send two boxes of face masks to her sister in Canada. At first, they, her sisters in Canada, they sent masks from Canada to Hong Kong. And now we are sending some back when there aren't any in Canada, she said. She said the 200 masks she is sending may not be enough if the epidemic, which is now a pandemic, lasts a long time. This sentiment, sentiment means this idea, this idea was echoed by Nancy, who was also there to send 200 masks to her family in Boston. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze in a minute. <laughs> Excuse me, coronavirus. Having travelled to the US during Chinese New Year, she said it is quite ironic. Ironic, wow, well, I don't know how to explain that in Chinese. Ironic means very funny, very unusual, okay? Ironic in Chinese. Ju yu feng qi yi wei de. What does that mean? Let's have a listen. Maximum volume. Ju you feng zi yi wei de. Oh, I have no idea. Again, so do you what? English is ironic, okay? So it's quite ironic, quite funny that she is now sending masks from Hong Kong to the United States. When I was in the United States, I was trying to find some masks to bring back here to Hong Kong. But now they can't find any there. It's crazy. It is absurd. I like that word. Where is the word absurd gone? Absurd, you see? Crazy. As the demand in the West shoots up, Queues outside courier companies, these are the companies to send things, here have got longer and longer over the last few days. A worker at one store said some customers had to wait hours to send their parcels. The company has since implemented, that means started, they've implemented, they started a ticket system for those who don't want to waste time waiting in a queue for hours. 
But not all parcels are getting to their destinations. This is where it's going to. From Hong Kong, going to where? Canada, going to USA, UK, that's a destination. Okay. One woman, surname Wong, said she tried sending her friend in London some masks, but they are still stuck in Hong Kong. Why are they stuck in Hong Kong? We don't know. I posted the parcel on March 13th, and the parcel is still stuck here. Stuck, okay, it's still in Hong Kong due to logistical problems. Logistical problems means um, problem sending it. Maybe she didn't pay enough money, maybe the box is not strong enough, we don't know. Okay, she said, but some masks she sent to Australia on March 18th have already reached her friend there, Wong said. So why the packages sent later, March 18th, to Australia are okay, but the one sent March 13th to London, not okay because of some logistical problems we don't know. So that is the news for today. As always, students, stay happy, stay healthy. Thanks to rthk.hk, and uh, we'll see you soon.